Hey guys, it's me, Kyla, and today I will be, uh, I'm not getting the geckos today, sadly, just because we don't have the calcium in, and we don't have the food, like the crickets and mealworms. So, we will have to be delaying on that for now, but next week, or the week after that, we will be getting the little babies, so we're only going to be getting one or two. Uh, just because we didn't want to jump into it, but if we do have good work with leopard geckos, we will be getting more. So, look to that in the future. And I will be showing you how to set up a temporary or, like, bringing home tank for your leopard gecko, chameleon, bearded dragon, all that good stuff. So, lizards and sometimes snakes if you're getting... A type of snake that can be set up in this. So disclaimer, make sure if you are getting a leopard gecko, uh, sorry about my painty hands though, just I've been painting a lot, but um, make sure you have a big fornarium. So this is just going to be a bringing home cage, so it it's just going to be a bringing home cage. I'm going to be instantly after I get home, I'll just put them right in there, let them settle down for the la for the next day, and just not keeping them in this tank, because it is literally not even, it's probably a foot long, to be honest. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, it's probably like a foot long, which is way too small. Make sure if you are getting a leopard gecko, make sure for a temporary tank, you can use this setup but just get a bigger fornarium. So let's get right into this. Um, so first off, I do have a distinctive hot side and cold side. For this, you can use heat tape and uh, mini heat pads and stuff like that. I don't really am going to use that, so I am going to be filling up this. I know it doesn't look that efficient. I have tried this. Um, it's a baggie that I taped on i know it's cheap but it does work please do not be in the comments saying it looks stupid it doesn't work your geckos are going to die i'm just gonna have them in this tank for an hour one hour one so this i'm just going to fill up with like really warm water so it does warm up so let's start here. Let's start on the cold side. For the cold side, I have a light bulb box and I took a piece of paper and divided it. This is all taped in, so you will not I will not be taking this stuff out. So um so yep, we have the divider. Uh so it's nice and dark. We have two hides on the cold side, two hides on the hot side. We have a fake branch wait not a fake branch a fake uh plant i just like this because it looks better uh and it probably doesn't care to my leopard geckos just as long as it's safe for your geckos uh so it covers up the brand and it covers up uh what it really is just to make it look nice and just to make it look good okay on to the hot side so for the hot side we have a coconut hide that I did make. I didn't make this by myself. I took I drilled a couple holes in the top of it, get out the milk, cut it in half, scoop up all the meat, put it in the fridge, and then cut it, it as I said, cut it in half, uh, scooped out all the meat, as I said, and cut a hole in it, sanded it down. Make sure you either put tape around things or sand it down because you do not want your fragile leopard gecko skin to be cut because that is a big no-no. Um, so, just remember that, please. Um, we have a branch, so if they want to come up and say hello or if they're just feeling kind of climby and where am I, they can climb. Uh... This was accidental, this little hide, but it works. It's a little bit of a lighter hide. And the good thing about this coconut hide is it's nice and dark. It's roomy, but not to the point where it's humongous and it won't fit. But it is nice and dark to give them privacy. 
and it will help their eyes if you get an albino or if you get one with very sensitive eyes. For the bottom of the tank, we just have a piece of paper towel, uh, just temporary, uh, just to get them in there and see how they're doing. Um, how I clean my foreignarium is every time that I get an animal or a reptile or anything, I want to make sure there are no, that they can't pass on germs, salmonella, mites, and just get each other sick. So what I do is I take, um, it is, I'm pretty sure it's vinegar water with a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of non-toxic dish soap. And you shake that up and you just spray it down. I let it sit for a minute and then I scrubbed it all down washed it out with water, and then I just put all my stuff in. So another thing that you want to do, I'm going to be shaking this really hard just to show you guys. Um, you may be hearing that flopping noise. That is the um, little branch that just bops up a little bit. But you want to tape down your things. You do not want, if I, if my grandparents or my father or my mother do hit a bump while I have the baby leopard geckos in here. It is a big no-no. You do not want that to happen. It could potentially kill them, break backs and legs, and it could lead to the death of your leopard gecko. So please tape in everything. And another important fact is that make sure your leopard gecko is healthy when you get it. You do not want a malnourished one with metabolic bone disease, MPD, and you want to make sure they have the best life. Do your research. Make sure you know with the supplements, the heat, the tank, the decorations, how old they get, how big they get. This is a big responsibility. I've done research for the past year. I've always done at least a half like six months of research before I got an animal. And I am still doing research even though I'm getting them next week. So just please do your research. You may not think I don't know what I'm doing. I do, just do your research. Do not lie on this video to set up a tank. Go watch more videos. And just, again, make sure you do your research. And you will be seeing the video next week of me getting the leopard geckos. And I will, at least the past, in the next three weeks, I will be doing leopard gecko stuff. So how to set up a leopard gecko tank, leopard gecko care, leopard gecko su supplements. So at least I'll do the picking up my leopard geckos, leopard gecko tank, and the leopard gecko care. So that's how it will usually go in the next week or in the next three weeks. So... Yeah, I'm gonna sign you guys off because my video is done. So, bye guys.